Hey y'all, Patrick here with Vetted. I am on vacation in Austin, so that's why the different studio here, okay? Um, I do have a great video for you today. Never stop with the videos, y'all, no matter what I'm doing, so boom. Um, this is about Sean Kirkpatrick. He had an event at the Hayden Center. It was a uh, live stream on YouTube, and uh, everyone wants to hear from Sean Kirkpatrick, right? Director of Arrow, the All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office, um, and he was asked a great question I thought we should cover. Again, I'll put a link to the full live stream so you can watch the whole thing. But um, let's take a look at this particular um, question that was asked. And I've got some context for it. Okay. So for actually, let's watch the context first because this will help you understand. So I made a video, Pentagon's UFO office arrows allegedly fake. Let me explain. Um, basically, the Good Trouble show. Um with Matt Ford, I believe is his name, he said he had a source that said that Arrow had this secret advisory board, right, that was basically leading everything and controlling everything from behind the scenes, right? Um, so that's sort of the context. Here's a video of it. What I'm about to tell you is from a very high-ranking <clears throat> source, very high-ranking. That is, And again, this has to do with the question um, that Sean Kirkpatrick gets asked, but you should hear this first. Given us um, information that has always, always panned out. This information is significant, and in my opinion, it demands a congressional investigation into Arrow. So, everyone pay attention. When we Arrow are, was Matt. established, Ronald Moultrie also established an advisory council called Arrow Exec or Arrow Executive Council, whose purpose was to provide oversight and guidance to Arrow and was headed by Ronald Moultrie himself. The existence of this advisory board or, uh, uh, was, was actually was nothing secret. Everybody knew about it on the Hill. Uh, Moultrie actually announced it in an official Pentagon memo that, that, was, that you can find on the internet. So Congress knew, knew, of, its, it knew of its existence and who sat on the council. There was nothing to hide, but there has been something hidden from Congress. And here it is. When Arrow was formed by Dr. Sean Kirkpatrick, he assembled a separate secret council of advisors. A few people on Capitol Hill recently got wind of this and asked Kirkpatrick for the names of who was sitting on this secret council. Kirkpatrick refused to tell them. Why? I'll tell you why. Because some of these unelected officials who sit on this super secret advisory council are the actual gatekeepers of the legacy UAP crash recovery and back engineering program. I mean, seriously, talk about the fox guide, uh, guarding the hen house. You cannot make this shit up. So basically, that's that's the, you know. That's the allegation, right? That Sean Kirkpatrick, again, director of the Pentagon's UFO office, all right, Arrow, All Domain Anomalous Resolution Office. He's a director, okay? And he had a secret council, supposedly, set up behind the scenes that's made up of people who he's supposed to be investigating, right? That's the, that's the claim, right? People that were running reverse engineering programs, um, crash retrieval programs, right? He, his secret council was made up of these people, these legacy people, and right, obviously a conflict of interest there. Um, so then yesterday does this very first sort of live appearance like this. Um, and again, he's out. He's already out. They found his replacement. He's gone from Arrow. So, but let's, let's take a look at this. So Disclosure Diaries had a question um, sent in and he had it asked, and it's a great question. So he writes on his tweet, Dr. Kirkpatrick ad addresses my question, uh, re the senior technical advisory group. Note, these are the individuals who make the final decision on UAP cases. I believe this to be the group that Good Trouble Show alleged may compromise potential legacy program gatekeepers. All right, let's take a listen. Good question uh, has to do with uh, a senior technical advisory group that must you must have stood up that is helping advise the work you do uh, so they're just questions about that group what what is it made up of are these people from outside government is this that academic and scientific community you just referenced so it's a strategic technical advisory group they don't like to be called senior hmm. 
and they actually do work. They're the review board for, uh, there's, an, there's a, the analytic framework consists of multiple layers of review, and they're one of the layers of review. Um, we don't give out names and identities of anybody associated with this office other than me and a handful of, of very specific people because of the fact that the, the harassment and the threats that are attendant to our ability to do this job, and I know we had the same problem with the NASA panel, um, I'm not going to subject my team to that. I have some of the best professionals on the face of the planet working some of this. Um, but I'm not going to subject them or their families to that kind of harassment that is making our job a lot harder. I've had people try to dig up uh, information on my wife, my child, where I live, uh, make threats, send harassments. Um, just that's not called for. And what is the claim? Is the claim that you're, you're evil because you haven't said what they want you to say about the sources of these anomalous that's, that's, a, that's a great way of saying it, uh, but I, I would put it a different Wow. I mean, look, I, I guess first impressions, if I'm being honest, like hearing, hearing him say that, if I'm being honest, like I get it, right? If he's being harassed and his family, and I mean, think about that. We say that about Grush, that we sh people shouldn't be doing that to Grush and he's being harassed. The UFO community can't then turn around and harass this guy, Sean Kirkpatrick, right? If if it's true, right? I mean, he's a human being, right? Um, so I don't know. If that is true, I can understand him not wanting to release the names of these people, right? And so if Matt Ford from The Good Trouble Show is saying, well, he refused to give them the names, well, I can understand, right? There could be a reason for that, a legitimate reason right? Innocuous, uh, but specialized. And it, it's logical. It's rational. It makes sense, right? If he's trying to protect his team um, from harassment from the UFO community, and the UFO community can provide a lot of harassment, okay? There's a lot of people who don't want their name known in this community, not because they don't want the truth out or they don't want to come out clean or whatever. It's because they don't want to then be doxxed or harassed or people start digging up everything on them. Right. And honestly, if you're watching this and you're into this UFO, you know, topic, which you probably are if you're watching this, right, like that is something to consider. Right. We can't just always assume it's this like clandestine reason, secretive reason that things don't happen or we don't get the answers we want. Right. Um, I just that's just what I think. So I don't know. I again, I have a little bit of sympathy for Sean Kirkpatrick if that's the case, right? I wouldn't want my family being harassed either. And I wouldn't want the people that I find dear and close and coworkers, right? I'm very loyal. Um, that would bother me. So I would want to do everything I could to protect them. And if there is a reference to go off of, and if there is proof and evidence that you've been harassed already, then why would it stop? And let's be real. If all those people were named, right, on this council, you damn right the UFO community would be all over their asses. And maybe that's something we got to consider in the UFO community. Pull back a little bit, not be so aggressive in a disrespectful, like unprofessional, violent way, right? Um, I'm just saying, maybe that's a reason that could be holding back disclosure. And I get it. We all, we want it. We deserve to know this stuff. I get that. But two wrongs don't make a right, in my opinion. But I don't know. What do y'all think? Let me know in the comments. Does Sean Kirkpatrick have a point? of not wanting to release those names. Now, if it is, now if they are part of the legacy program and it is this like secret accounts, whatever, then yeah, that's, that sucks. Right. But he's out anyway. We've got a new guy coming in. So again, does this secret legacy council now report to this new guy? I don't know. I don't think that's a question that's been asked or talked about. Right. What's the point of this new guy coming into Arrow? What is he actually going to be able to do different? Right? Does it matter who's in charge of Arrow? If we're not, that guy kind of put it a certain way. Are, are you, you know, he asked uh, Shanker Patrick, are you evil because you, you aren't, they, you know, you aren't giving them the answers that they want? I've said that myself on the show. I've literally said that same thing. Um, you know, is that the reason why people hate 
Sean Kirkpatrick because he's just not saying the answer you want to hear. I mean, what do we want Sean Kirkpatrick to come out and say? Yes, there's aliens and UFO. Yes, there's this and yes, we have. And if he doesn't say anyone who doesn't say that is evil, we just we can't approach this topic that way. That's not how it can be. Right. I, I just don't see us getting anywhere with that. And we all have to live with each other after disclosure comes out. So we just all need to be more respectful with each other. Dignity, a little humanity, right, with people. Um, that's all I'm saying. I don't, it's like all the, all the negative energy just went towards Dr. Sean Kirkpatrick. Again, I'm not defending or not defending him. I don't know him, you know. Um, it's a very sort of difficult position he was put in. I'm just trying to be fair to the facts, right? Now, has he then done a good job and what he's doing? Does he take it seriously enough? No, there's some criticism of it as well. And he has said some things that, you know, seem different from what he said before, right? I don't want to necessarily say liar, but, right? So I don't know. What do y'all think in the comments? I'm curious to read them. Um, is he making any sense? Am I wrong here? I don't know. What do y'all think about his answer about that, about not wanting to release those names because in fear of those people being harassed? Do you think that's a legitimate concern? I personally do, right? If you've ever been on Reddit or UFO Twitter or whatever, the harassment is real. I've had people tell me that before that don't want to don't want their name out in the UFO world because of the crazies they call it. I mean that's literally what they say. I don't want those you know UFO nuts. That's literally their words, not mine. I don't want these UFO nuts all over me, you know, harassing me because there will be videos made reddits, right? I mean, me too. I'm part of this, right? So, I get it. Would I make a video if he released those names? Yeah, I would. I would, and I'd look into who they are. I don't harass anybody or dox anybody or suggest we show up to people's houses and, you know, getting children involved. I mean, that's just beyond the pale. So anyway, curious to hear y'all's opinions on this. Um, again, sorry uh, for the bad audio and lighting and the studio, whatever. Just, again, out of town in Austin. So, uh, But still providing the content, y'all. I'll be back with another video uh, tomorrow. We recorded a podcast on Monday. I've been trying to get it out. So hopefully that will be tomorrow. Uh, I've just been very busy. So do what I can um, to get that out. If not, just another regular video like I always do. So anyway, every day, 12 p.m. Central Standard Time USA. If you like this video and you like our content, hit the like button and subscribe. That would really help. And again, don't forget to comment. Let me know what you think of uh, Sean Kirkpatrick in these comments. All right, guys. We'll see you next time on another video of Bedded. I'm Patrick. As always, remember, every day's a gift, y'all. Peace from.